hey what's going on guys let's do this problem right here here this question is asking find the thickness of the container wall such that the inside temperature is 50 degrees celsius if the heat loss is 500 watts if the heat loss is 500 watts right now here they ask about the thickness and here we have a spherical shape and we have a surrounding temperature right here also they have provided the heat transfer coefficient thermal conductivity now in, in this case we can choose this equation that is q dot heat transfer rate is equal to delta t divided by r total right now inside we are going to have conduction and outside we are going to have convection so th these are the two resistance we are going to have now let's put the equation for the conduction right let's begin with conduction r conduction is going to be the generic equation for R conduction in a spherical shape is going to be this that is 1 over 4 phi R actually 4 phi K 4 phi K times 1 over R1 that is inside radius minus 1 over R2 that is outside radius now we have we also have convection outside of this that's going to be R convection and that's going that's that can be calculated by using 1 over a surface area but the surface area for a spherical shape can be calculated surface area is going to be 4 phi r square so here we are going to have h times 4 phi r square so here we are dealing with outer radius when we take the convection right because out, outside we are going outside we are going to have convection so outer area is going to be 4 phi r2 square because outer radius 4 phi r2 square and that's it now all we have to do is plug this one in this equation now if i plug this in this equation we are going to have q dot is equal to delta t instead of writing r total we can add these two together so this is going to be 1 over 4 phi k times 1 over r1 minus 1 over r2 plus 1 over h times 4 phi r square right h times 4 phi r 2 square now let's see what what are the informations we have q dot we have that's 500 watts provided in the question and delta t we can calculate that is basically inside temperature minus outside temperature that's going to be 50 minus 25 that's going to give us delta t 25 degrees celsius so 25 kelvin both of them works now we have conductivity we have inner radius one here we have diameter inner diameter one meter half of it is going to be inner radius that's going to be 0 0.5 now outer radius is what we are trying to find because if we find the outer radius we can find the thickness because outer radius minus inner radius is going to give us the thickness now here we are trying to solve for outer radius now let's plug all the values first first we have q dot that is 500 watts that's equal to delta t that is 25 kelvin divided by 1 over 4 phi times k that is thermal conductivity that is 70 times 1 over r1 that is 0 0.5 r2 is what we are trying to find plus 1 over heat transfer coefficient that's going to be 6 times 4 phi r2 square now let's simplify let's bring this watts and this watts to this side so this is going to be 25 over 500 so this is going to be 25 over 500 watts that's equivalent to this one now let's simplify first if we multiply 1 over 4 phi 17 with 1 over 0 0.5 that's going to be actually 2 if you multiply this one with 2 that's going to give you 1 over 106.76 and also if you multiply this one with 1 over r2 that's going to give you minus 1 over 230.5 r2 and if we simplify this one this is going to give us 1 over 75.6 r2 square and from this one we can solve for r2 and if you solve for r2 you will end up with 
R2 is equal to 0 0.517 meter. Now, here we are, what we are trying to find is thickness. Thickness is going to be R2 minus R1. T is going to be equal to R2 minus R1. So R2 we found out that is 0 0.517. R1 we already know that is 0 0.5. And from this one, we can calculate thickness. That's going to give us 0 0.017. Meter. So this is equal to 17 millimeter. Now using this information, if you want to calculate conduction and convection, you can calculate. If you calculate this one, you will end up with 3.08 times 10 to the power minus 4 kelvins per watts. And if you calculate, hmm, not this one. Okay, if you calculate this one you will end up with 0 0.049 Kelvin per, Kelvin per watts and if you calculate this one you will end up with 3.08 times 10 to the power of minus 4 Kelvin per watts and that's going to be the final answer this is the main question and that's it I hope this I hope this helps thanks for watching